All right, Shalom, another GMS. I want to go back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash. Next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth. According to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing. Keep believing. Keep the faith of God so people here for a bit of lunch break lesson. U.S. shot down UFOs. Shaking my freaking head. Stop stop the cap, Israel. This ain't Independence Day with Will Smith, all right? Just, just stop the cap, man. These are the 439,000 missiles the U.S. is using to shoot down mystery UFOs. Unidentified flying objects. When you shut down a little damn balloon, man, all right, that you put up in the air. Man, come on, man. Let's let's read into this. Right, I'm gonna bring out some scriptures. It's, it's all cap sleazy. E. You ain't shooting down no no cherry of the Lord. All right, and we're gonna get some scriptures just proving that you scared of the chairs. All right, Ronald Reagan even came out with it with his nonsense in the '80s. Y'all scared of the chairs, man. All right. And as mystery continues to swirl around the balloon and three others so far. Unidentified objects shot down by the U.S. in recent days. At least one thing has been clear. The weaponry used to knock them out of the sky, be it the original alleged Chinese surveillance balloon down from South Carolina and the, and the, other, and the objects targeted over Alaska, Michigan, and Canada have all been shot down by the same type of missile. The, the aim... Ain't nobody shooting down no chariots to the Lord. The, the AIM-9X Sidewinder. This right, this right here is going to shoot down a chariot. Are you, are you serious? When the chariots can, can make themselves the size of... Remember NASA just cut that feed off, you know what I'm saying, a, a couple of months back of a chariot, a so-called UFO, a spaceship, you know, like three times the size of Earth. Are, are, you, are you serious? Please, please man. It's, it's all cap. The U.S. shut down the UFO, shaking my freaking head, man. It's all cap. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 15, and reads, The simple believeth every word. Oh, yeah, the U.S. Sh shut down some UFOs, shut down some aliens. Aliens, aliens. Proverbs 14 and 15, the simple believeth every word. Stop believing this damn devil, man. Sleazy, he's known as the liar, man. All right, the deceiver, the slanderer. All right, the devil, man. Man, lying like hell. He ain't shoot down no chariots of the Lord. If he did shoot down a um a so called UFO, it's one that he built. Now, now all of a sudden, Area Fifty One, they're gonna come out with a with a um a, a black man with um a green man with big black eyes again, right? Come on, man. Israel, wake the hell up, man. Ain't nobody shooting on no chariot. Proverbs 14 and 5. This is lunch break lesson. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 15. And read the simple, believe it every word. They did. They did. They did. I thought I saw a pudding cat. They did shoot down once. It had big black, well, the, the being inside of it had big black eyes and it was gray. It was gray, I tell you. But the prudent man looking well to his going. Well, we're not ignorant of Satan device. Ain't nothing but a diversion. So something's about to come out, you know what I'm saying? So, some information about to come out, and that they don't want you to know about it, man. That that's all it is. Come on, Israel. They ain't shoot down no chariots, man. Just something so quick. Second Corinthians chapter two. Verse eleven. And it reads, once again, this is not Independence Day. With Will Smith, all right? 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. At least Satan, the word Satan means adversary. At least Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices, his tricks, his schemes, his plots. So we heard this nonsense. We just started laughing, man. Like, 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 let's, let's go get some scriptures right quick. Let's just bring it out in the scriptures. This is 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. At least Satan, the word Satan means adversary. At least Satan should get an advantage of us. For we, the hopeful elect, for we are not ignorant of his devices. They, like the scripture said, if it was possible, you would be able to deceive the elect. But it's not possible, okay? It's not possible. Sleep, sleep, come on, man. 
just like the um the chariots, you know what I'm saying? The so-called UFOs, the um unidentified flying objects that flew over DC in July the twelfth. It, it was between July the twelfth to um July the 29th, nineteen fifty-two. They thought they was gonna do something with those vehicles. That's saying no, by the time they got there, the vehicles disappeared. You I'm gonna just bring out some scriptures, then I'm gonna wrap it up, man. I'm gonna bring out some scriptures, then I'm gonna wrap it up. Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 31. I ain't gonna beat around with this all day. Let's see. Isaiah chapter 31, verse 5. As birds flying, that, that's how the chariots come, right? As birds flying. So will the Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, the power of hosts, the Lord of armies, look, a God of war. You gonna take down one of his vehicles? Will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem? A people forced to place Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Defending also, he will deliver it. And passing over, he will preserve it. So, so the elect of the nation of Israel, they're going to be delivered in those vehicles, those so-called UFOs, those chariots, the spaceships. You, you ain't, come on, man. Still believing sleazy? Are, are, are you serious? Remember, the strangeness of their salvation. Bear with me. Psalm chapter 104, we'll start at started three. Who lived the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who make of the clouds, aka the UFOs, the spaceships, his chariots? See, you could be looking up in there. We go through this all the time through the spirit. You could be looking up in the, in the sky. You see some clouds. Guess what? It could be some chariots. We're not saying we're not saying every cloud that you see in the sky is a chariot, but the chariots can cloak themselves to make it look like clouds. You see, who walk up upon the wings of the wind? L listen to this. Who maketh his angels spirits? You shooting, you shooting out spirits now? His ministers a flame and fire. So you mean to tell me Sleazy is shooting out fire now? You, you shooting out fire now? And his ministers, meaning the Lord's servants, a flaming fire. You ain't shooting out on that, man. You ain't, the, the scriptures say when you see those chariots, that's a curse. They go forth across the whole entire earth. That's the curse, man. You see, that's a curse until Sleazy eat. And, and, and the chariots, let's, let's just get this. Let's just get this. Still in the book of Psalms. The Lord said, when you see those chariots, that's a curse unto Sleazy E. All right? And to two-thirds, and to these heathens. But it's deliverance and it's hope for the for the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord, when we part of that number. Psalms chapter 68. Psalms chapter 68, verse 17. The chariots, the spaceships of the Most High, the so-called UFOs of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The, what the hell is Sleazy E gonna do with an angel, man? One angel can destroy the whole earth. Oh yeah, but he but he shut down one of the vehicles that the angels are riding in. Are, are you serious, Israel? You, Israel, you can't be that simple, can you? Psalm sixty-eight and seventeen: The chariots of the Most High Yahweh, through His only begotten Son Yahweh shine, are twenty thousand, even thousands of angels. When when the chariots pull up, this man gonna shit on himself. What is he talking about? Even thousands of angels, the Lord Yahweh shines among them, as in Sinai in the holy places. You think the Lord's gonna let Sleazy Sleazy ain't got the technology that these spaceships got, man? Come, Sleazy is shooting down fire now, right? Come on, man. And then you can type in um um I think it was um plasma beam, aka laser beam, sh shoots at a UFO and misses. Come on, man. The, the chariots, you know and that laser beam, you know what I'm saying, was um, faster than the speed of light. And, and that chariot made it look like child's play. The, the chariot made it look like child's play, man. Let's, let's get this. A couple, couple of scriptures. Then I'm under them out, man. I just want to bring out some scriptures, man. Stop capping, man. Once again, this is not Independence Day. E, stop lying. You all cap LOL, 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 LOL. Look, look, sleazy. You ain't never went to the damn moon either. You ain't never went to the blessed moon either. All right? Once again, you brothers, you can check, you can check that video out. Laser beams shooting at so-called UFO video. They're, they're trying to pretty much hide everything nowadays. Come on, man. Isaiah 66. And 15, for behold, the Lord will come, the Lord, all caps, the Messiah, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, will come with fire. So you're going to shoot down some fire, right? And with his chariots, UFOs like a whirlwind, to rend his anger with fury, 
and is rebuked with flames of fire. For by fire and by a sword will the Lord plead me and judge with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. This, come on, man. This devil ain't shoot down no chariot of the Lord. Ronald Reagan came together with the United Nations in 1987, talking about what if we had an alien invasion, we would all come together. But, but oh yeah, you you, sh you shot down one, right? You shot down one of them foreign vehicles. Those vehicles are foreign. You see, to this place. Come. Let's get another scripture, man. This this devil's all cap, man. All cap. This is just so quick. Like, lunch break lesson, Israel. I can't even really get into them. Bring out a couple more scriptures. Then, then I'm gone, Israel. The, the, the chariots, the spaceship, the so-called UFOs, the Lord is coming back in one. What is this devil going to do but shit on itself? Isaiah 26 and 20. Come, my people, the elect of the nation of Israel, enter thou into thy chambers, a.k.a. the UFOs, the chariots, the spaceships, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a moment until the indignation, meaning righteous anger, be overpassed because the missile is going to hit. And the only way out of the, um, that lake of fire, that nuclear holocaust, is in one of those UFOs, so-called UFOs, which are the chariots of the Lord, the spaceships, right? For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity, their wickedness, their sin upon sin. And once again, this is not Independence Day with Will Smith. You're not going to take over one of the chariots. The chariots are not going to crash. You're not going to hop inside the chariot, beat the being up, throw the being out. Punch them in the face, then you hop into the vehicle, you know what I'm saying? And that's ain't no, you flying around, chasing the um the other angels around, sh shooting them down. Look, this is not Independence Day. E, e, stop lying. You all cap. That's what I might name it. E, stop lying. You all cap. You ain't shoot down no UFO. That's what I might name it. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Remember, the slain of the Lord shall be many. This devil lying like hell. Yeah, once again, the simple believe it everywhere. Oh, they shot down a UFO. They shot down a new UFO. Come see the pictures. Come see the pictures. Man, it's all cap, man. Revelation chapter 1. All cap. Revelation chapter 1, which the word revelation means to reveal. Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. Behold, he coming for clouds, which is proof of the clouds were the chariots, the UFOs, the spaceships that, that, that the USA they shot down over Canada, over these over South Carolina. All cap. And every eye shall see him, because the Lord's gonna be on the um the biggest chariot you ever seen. As we said, it was the size of a mountain. Bigger than a mountain. All and look, look, and they also which pierced him. The Roman centurions that pierced the Lord, they're going to see him. And all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so are mine. But, but, but Sleazy said he, he, he big and bad. He said he actually shot down one. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Look, look, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we, we persuade men. It, 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 Israel, it's all cap. It's, it's all cap. As a matter of fact, let's just get this and I'm gone. Let's just get this. I'm, and I'm gone. I ain't gonna play. Second as the thirteenth chapter. It's all caps. He, he come on, man. He he ain't shoot down no UFOs. All caps. It's nothing but a distraction, Israel. Second as the thirteenth chapter. And it came to pass after seven days I dreamed a dream by night. And lo, there arose bear with me. Continuing on, verse two. Second as thirteen and two, and lo, there arose a wind from the sea, that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, lo, that man white strong with the thousands of heavens, talking about Lord Yahweh Shai and the heavenly host of angels. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. After seeing people scared as hell when they seen the chariots, man, they seen the Lord, Lord Yahweh Shai with the multitude of angels. These, look, scripture said they tremble, but oh yeah, Sleazy shot one down, right? He shot one down, right? He, he's just that brave. His technology is that good, right? And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, they all burn, meaning the, the, the laser beams coming out of the chariot, right? They all burn. They heard his voice. Bear with me. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. Being a lawyer, how shot with the heavenly host of angels and look in the spaceships, the UFOs, so called. And when he turned his countenance to look, 
all the things trembled that were seen under him. But all of a sudden, this devil was big and bad, right? Come on now. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, meaning the chariot, all they burned that heard his voice because some laser beams was coming out, right? Like as the earth felleth when it filleth the fire. Because we just read in Isaiah 66, 15, and 16, right? The Lord come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind, right? And after this I beheld a loaf that was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. And that's what Ronald Reagan was talking about in um, 1987. You see, in, in the United Nations. If, if they had a so-called alien invasion, they would have to put their differences aside and then they would all have to come together to fight um, the aliens, the so-called aliens, which the word alien just means foreigner, right? So this is what Ezra is seeing. Ezra is seeing all these different heathen nations coming up against the Lord and the angels, right? And after this, behold, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. But I beheld, and lo, he had graven himself a great mountain and flew upon it. What the hell is sleazy going to do with that? A chariot the size of a mountain. You see, and once again, this is not Independence Day. Will Smith is not going to come save the day. Easy. Sleazy, easy, e. And, but I would have seen the region or place where where, where out the hill was graven, and I could not. As I was trying to see the end of the mountain, and I couldn't even see it, which was a chariot, right? And after this, I beheld and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him, all these heathen nations, sleazy, being the spearhead, to subdue the Lord, trying to take the Lord down, together to, to subdue him, were so afraid. But all of a sudden, they shot one down, all right? All of a sudden, they shot one down, right? As I said, they were scared as hell. They was afraid. And yet, there's fight. They were so scared, you know what I'm saying? But the Lord controlled the minds of man, so he made them fight anyway, all right? We would say, and lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up hand, his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. They, they was coming to get busy. You see, they starting out with sleazy. They was with all their military jet fighters and things of that nature. You see, they stealth fighters and all that. They was coming to subdue Lord Yahushai and the angels, right? They, but look, they, they were scared at the same time, right? You see, it said the Lord didn't even have to lift up his hand or nothing, right? But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth, meaning the chariot, as it had been a blast of fire, meaning of laser beams, and out of his lips a flaming breath, more laser beams, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests out of the laser beams, right? And, and they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and, and the great tempest. Which was a mighty storm. That's how the Lord came, right? And fell with violence upon the multitude which were prepared to fight. All these different nations, they start warring with each other and they turned turn around and started trying to go against the Lord and the angels, right? What did it say? It fell with violence upon the multitude which, which was prepared to fight. This, this is going to be easy work for the Lord. And burn up everyone with them laser beams. So that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude of people, nothing was to be nothing was to be perceived but only dust and the smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. But then you got Sleazy talking about he shot down a cherry. Are, are you serious? Are, are, are you serious? Israel, this is all cap. E, stop lying. You all cap. LOL, LOL, LOL. You ain't shoot down no UFO, no chariot, no spaceship. Stop lying. Shalom.